that there is that which simply is. It doesn't have to perform, it doesn't have to prove it is, it doesn't have to prove it is. To whom would it prove it? It simply is. What recognizes this? Itself. Itself. Right itself. Itself. Okay. Great. And you, who are you? Where is your location in this, your position? It's part of that. Well, which part? <laughs> um. Don't go to the past, don't go to memory or education for a moment. It's here. Trust in now. Just be now. Where are you in this? Part means particular. Where particularly are you? Don't go to memory, because memory also depends on you. Memory is also a phenomenon. Mm. It's just hard to answer the question. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, yes. It seems like there's no no words I can say that. To yes. That. Okay. Otherwise, I'm moving. And right. There's no words I can. I is what. Well, I mean, the I is the um, uh. not what that is. Is the I a particular? Um, the I, you know, there's no words I can find. I, I is what. Also, feel, not just think. In speaking it, it feels like it's a constricted, the smaller part of a bigger. Yes, yes, yes. So that's what that. So the voice is simply appearing, a sort of an intelligence, a kind of confirmation is coming, but out of what mouth is it coming? As somebody, is it something personal or impersonal? Well, it seems way beyond personal. Very good. It just seems like a. Yeah. Huge. It's so yeah. huge, I have no yeah. idea. It's like a mystery, really. Yes, yes. It's big. To whom is the mystery? I mean, it's just unknown. Very great. So, again, just to help me, you are what again? My name? No, no. <laughs> you. Before the name. You are there before the name. <laughs> By name. You must be there before even the name. Well. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, you are what? Just, um, just remind me. I'm consciousness. No, no, no. Well, I yeah, don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't yeah. know what to say. I yeah, mean, yeah, I want. No. I want. I'm to not be... actually yeah. expecting words yeah. because yeah. I want you to say when you speak the words of what you are, you yeah. see how shallow they are now. Right. Huh? Right. They're flat now. Huh? Any word you can say, I'm the self, I'm the universe. It's flat. It has not no meaning, isn't right. it? It's just words now, right. as it was a while ago. But now you're seeing them. That you are you being beyond them because you are not uh, held inside words. You know somehow the words are spoken and you see that they don't have the power to satisfy. At this stage, isn't it? They are just beautiful concepts. There is I am consciousness, but what what does that mean? It's nothing. I am the universe, but it doesn't mean nothing at all. You see, I wanted you to say them. And then I will hear them. I throw them out, because it cannot be uh, an answer you can give. Is not going to be it. It wasn't. It's like it, flat is right. Perfect way of just. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Do you know why they're flat? No. Yeah. Tell me why they're flat. Seems as if they're flat because they're they're words trying to describe um, something that's beyond words. Yes, and the words aren't what it is. Yes, I mean not that it isn't what it is. But and which side of the words are you? Inside of the words or beyond the words? You yourself now. Well, when I'm focused on the no. words, yes, <laughs> I'm more, I'm very identified with the words. Is, is it a compulsion? Is it are you compelled to identify the words simply because they are spoken? That is a great question. It's, it's, it appears so. Yes, yes. 
it appears as if I'm compelled. Before a thought arose or a word come, did you know about it? No. So therefore it has nothing to do with you? You know, I think maybe at the beginning of the our talk, I was thinking or trying to get at is the um, to hold that awareness that things are emerging second to second, moment to mo- moment, just constantly. Do you have to hold it now? No, I'm, it's just you can see, I see it happening now. Um, yeah. But in when I'm quote accomplishing things. No, no, be now. <laughs> then. <laughs> because this is what we do, in fact. You know, at, uh, something is constantly being breathed out from awareness. Right. The awareness is not moving. Oh. Awareness is like space. Mind is like wind. The wind cannot move without space, but space doesn't move about. It's everywhere, constant. It's infinite, so it has no address. It's always just here. Mind, on the other hand, like the wind, is always moving about. It's the nature of it to move about. If you identify as mind, then you'll be saying, oh yes, you know, even mind is saying, one day I just like to be space. Can you imagine space saying, okay, one day I would just like to be left alone by the wind? <laughs> There's no need, it's not threatened by wind. So, which is saying that if I can just hold the awareness? Is it the wind saying, if I could just hold the space? No. No. Is it the space saying, if I could just hold the space? So is that thought true, see?